Okay, so we are back and we are testing more TikTok recipes, but I thought I would start kind of categorizing them. Um, so like TikTok cookies and TikTok, I don't know, cake or pasta or whatever. And today I thought that we would test out TikTok air fryer hacks. Okay, so our first recipe is from the air fryer guy. It is a pancake recipe, pancakes that you make in the air fryer. Now, I'm going to be honest, I don't think this is real. I don't think you can actually make pancakes like this. It seems like maybe it's like a hoax or a scam or like just a joke or something. I didn't check the comments though because I do wanna see if it's real or fake. So let's check it out. All right, so the first thing that he does is put a pie plate into his air fryer. I don't have a pie plate. I was gonna go buy a pie plate just for this. Tin foil is fine, aluminum foil. Oh, I'm just going to line the bottom of this with aluminum foil, and then he whips up a quick pancake batter, puts down some parchment, and then pours the pancake batter, puts another layer of parchment, pours the pancake batter, puts down a layer of parchment. And he just magically comes up with these like perfectly cooked on both sides pancakes and that's kind of why I think it's a scam. Yeah, probably that. Because the batter's gonna be super heavy. So you're not gonna get these like perfectly formed pancakes. Plus it's cooked on both sides and there's parchment on either side. All right, for the pancake batter, I'm just using box pancake mix because I don't think it's gonna work. So I'm not gonna go out of my way to do it all from scratch. If you just want to substitute eggs in your pancake batter, you can just use about six tablespoons of aquafaba, it's super easy. And then as always, I'm using some soy milk. I'm gonna use a pancake mix from a box and just whip up a quick pancake batter. Definitely not going to work. I think the air fryer guy is a liar. Liar! All right, so um, he says he does it on 200 degrees Celsius. Um, that's like 390 Fahrenheit, so we'll do that. But he doesn't give you a time, which I find very annoying. Um, so we're just gonna start at like five minutes and see what happens. Okay, so um, the top one looks kind of cooked but only on the top, even the top on the bottom is not cooked. And then underneath, none of them are cooked. So I'm gonna do it for a couple more minutes, let's say three more minutes. All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and debunk this. It's still not cooked. I don't think adding another like three, five minutes is really going to help it. So this is a fail. It's not cooked. Debunked, goodbye. Okay, so the next one we're going to test out is from Big Mama Kimbo. She made cupcakes in the air fryer. She just used box cake mix, so I'm just going to use the same thing. Fun little fact, a lot of the box cake mix, as well as the frostings that you can get in the store are completely vegan. All right, I'm going to use a rainbow bit cake because that's what she used. I think in the States, it's called Funfetti. Some soy milk. I'm just using the directions on the box, some vegetable oil. And then instead of eggs, I'm going to use aquafaba. So it's about six tablespoons of aquafaba for two eggs, or three for one egg. Okay, so she has it at 370 for 10 minutes, so that's what we're gonna do. Okay, so they look cooked. Um, I did have to add another three minutes because they definitely were not cooked after 10, but my toothpick is coming out clean, so I think these are good. I mean, also, they're not really sticking to the side of the silicone thing, which is pretty great. But yeah, I think they're done. I wanted to do a batch in the oven just to compare. So this is the one from the air fryer. And then this is the one from the oven. See how it's a little bit fluffier, it's softer, it's not as brown. So there's definitely a difference. I feel like if you have a recipe where you're just cooking like a couple of cupcakes or it's the summer and you don't wanna throw on your oven, then an air fryer is a great reason to do that, but it definitely has a different result. So I have frosted the cupcakes. Let's give them a try, see like what the crumb is like. It's a, it's a cupcake, looks pretty good. Looks a little soft on the bottom. Actually, that's pretty good. It's like, I thought it was going to be a lot denser because it was in the air fryer, but no, it's really good. I would do this again, especially if I have like, I don't know why I would have leftover cake batter for any reason. 
but I would definitely do it in the air fryer. Or instead of like a mug cake, you know how there's all the stupid mug cake recipes, do this instead. Mm. As you guys approve. The next recipe is from S. Casey Fitness. It is a egg and cheese tortilla. It's kind of like a quesadilla, but you cook it on like one even plane and then fold it in half. He cracks an egg into his. I, obviously, I, I'm not gonna do that. So I'm just gonna use like a liquid egg replacement. For the tortilla, I'm gonna use a tortilla, but for my vegan substitutes, for the uh, cheese, I'm just gonna use cheese shreds. Whatever one you want is fine. And then for the egg, I'm just going to use this liquid egg replacement stuff. I wanted to use just egg, but I couldn't find it, so we're gonna use this one. So we're going to cook it at 200 degrees Celsius, or about 390 Fahrenheit, uh, for five minutes. I actually think this is gonna be really good. All right, so it looks like this. Ooh, ah. Oh. Now he puts hot sauce on his, so I'm gonna do the same. I like hot sauce on my eggs as well. He used sriracha, but I prefer something like Valentina or this red habanero. There's something about red habanero and eggs that I just love. Add some of that. All right, and then he folds it in half. So it's just like a egg quesadilla. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's good. Tastes like egg and cheese and hot sauce, which are three things I like to eat. So, ah, put it down the raw throat. Wrong throat, wrong hole. I would do this again, but I would add something like, so I make this breakfast sandwich or breakfast wrap thing where I cook the egg with like green onion and some chopped spinach, some tomatoes. I would do all of that, but in the air fryer instead now, I think. It just cooks the egg really, really nicely. All right. Our final recipe is from Baby Chris Mom, and it is grilled cheese in an air fryer. Apparently, this is like an old thing. People have been doing this forever. I haven't, so let's test it out. Okay, so in the video, they cut pieces of butter. So we're going to do it like that. That's how they do it in the video. And then for the cheese, I'm using this um, chow cayenne. It's like, kind of like a spicier cheese, as well as a provolone like lots of cheese and put the butter squares all over it. I've never seen it done this way. I feel like you could totally just butter the bread normally instead of using this much butter, but this is how they did in the video, so we're doing it that way. Okay, so they're suggesting 370, well, the comments are suggesting, they didn't suggest anything, um, but the comments are suggesting 370 for about four minutes. You wanna flip it halfway through though. Okay, so I just took a look at it. It's not crispy, like even a little bit. Um, so I'm gonna cook it for like four more minutes. So six minutes, five to six minutes on one side. Flip it over, butter it, five to minutes. Five to six minutes on the other side. Okay, so this is the grilled cheese. I have a couple thoughts. Firstly, that it would have been just faster to do it in a pan unless you are using the trivet that comes with your air fryer and making like multiple. Just kind of want to set it and forget it. Secondly, I don't know why this person put like slices of butter. You can just butter it like a normal person. Probably like my main concerns. Um, in terms of melting cheese, it's, it's pretty melty, but I feel like I can get a better melt in a pan and covering it. I mean, I guess I have to bite into this because it's a grilled cheese, even though I know that a grilled cheese is always delicious, but here it goes. Yeah, it's a grilled cheese. It's very, very crispy on the outside. It's good, it just took forever. Okay, there you have it. Four air fryer recipes. Um, some worked, some didn't, some were meh. Let me know if you have any air fryer recipes that you've seen on TikTok or really anywhere and you just are not convinced that it's gonna work. Any air fryer hacks, you can leave them in the comment section down below. And uh, if you have an air fryer recipe or hack that you love, also leave that in the comment section down below. And I'll see you next time, bye!